to another Weight Loss Wednesday. If you're new here then hi, my name's Amy and I am currently on my weight loss journey after having my second baby girl. Today I am fresh faced because guys, this weather, I mean I'm still in a hoodie which has got like baby sick and rubbish all over it but I'm gonna go get changed after I film this video because this weather is unreal. Like how nice is it for the UK in March. It's absolutely crazy. But anyway, stop going off on a tangent. Let's talk about the super exciting news, which you've all probably seen in the title. And yes, this week, I am so thrilled to say that I have lost a stone, a whole stone in one week. I literally could not believe it. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the scales that it was one whole stone but in contrast to that I have been so strict on myself really really strict and as well I found something that really works for me and I've introduced food back into my diet so instead of having like four products or three products a day I have been having two products and a 400 or un just under 400 calorie meal my dinner and it's so much better honestly it's something to look forward to in the day so I'm eating my bars and then I'm not thinking oh all I can have is exanti products so I'm eating my bars in the day which I'm thoroughly enjoying by the way the ones that I ordered in last week's video thoroughly enjoying each and every one of them but it makes a huge difference being able to have a meal and look forward to a meal on an evening. It has made a huge difference to me and how I feel about my weight loss. I'm not thinking it's a chore anymore. I'm actually excited to be doing it. And obviously now I'm seeing the results of it. So yeah, a stone loss. Absolutely chuffed with that, chuffed to bits. I also wanted to include in this video just some meal ideas. I mean, I haven't gone anything extravagant. I have literally brought it completely back to basic meals. I've been using an app to help me, which I'll discuss a little bit more further down the line. And yeah, I just wanted to like come on and share with you that if you try hard, you're strict with yourself, you can see the results and it's so amazing to feel like that. I mean, I ordered myself some jeans and I was so skeptical of me fitting in them and I have fit in them and I'm so, literally, I'm ecstatic. And now it's starting to get warm weather again. I want to be getting confident in some nice clothes and just feel confident, you know, walking around with my two girlies, with Sean on my arm. Well, I should be on his arm, shouldn't I? And just feel confident in the clothes that I'm wearing instead of like trying to hide my arms, trying to cover up my stomach, wearing jeans all the time in the summer because I don't want to get my legs out and literally sweating to death. But yeah, so let's get into the food side of the video. So I've started using this app called NutriCheck, which I saw on one of the fabulous Facebook groups. I don't think it's gonna focus, but basically you can scan items. It's a bit like MyFitnessPal, what everyone else uses, and you can scan items and put them in. So on, I started back on my diet on the Wednesday doing this kind of diet so I logged everything that I was eating and I'm just going to kind of go through with you just to give you some ideas of what I had um you will need some scales so that you can weigh out the different measurements of food which is a bit time consuming but honestly it does work as I've proven it's worked for me this week and I'm so buzzing to see what my weight is next week but so to start with I had an Exante diet meal replacement um, and then lunch I did as well and it tracks everything in there for you. I really really wanted to focus um, So you can put Exante in there as well, which is absolutely brilliant and then for dinner I had I basically had um, bolognese with no um, I had None of the pasta and then I just had mine really really basic So Sean was making it for him and Eva and I just had mine completely basic so I had the beef mince I had a hundred grams of beef mince and um, pan fried per instructions and then I had as does chopped tomatoes 100 grams and then I had a large onion I had five grams and that meal totaled to 177 calories which is in the 200 calorie mark obviously I was aiming for that 
um, that day because I did have another product as well. And then it had 4.7 grams of carbs, which is amazing because you can allow yourself 10 grams of carbs for your meal. So that was on the Wednesday. I'm really sorry if this is really annoying of me reading off my phone. Um, but obviously I can't remember what I ate each day and, and the, um, the measurements and everything. So it just makes it a little easier. And then obviously I did the same on the Thursday. Um, but for dinner this time I had a chicken breast. I actually made myself Nando's chicken. Um, so I had um, a chicken breast which was oven baked. And then I added, to make the marinade I used sunflower oil, Tesco lemon juice and paprika and a bit of chilli flakes and some garlic. And um, yeah, just oven baked that. And then I had it with some salad as well, which was, it was just such a nice meal, such a refreshing meal, really, really good. And it was 281 calories and 0.5 grams of fat. Now this is a huge learning journey for me. And when I look back at it, um, I realized that I use the sunflower oil I only used a tablespoon, which was 15 millilitres, but it was 135 calories. Now, if I'd have used fry light, it would have been nothing, and then I could have had more chicken. So, if you are going to do this, use fry light, and then you can have a lot more chicken with your meal, because I had like two, basically it was 100 grams, of like two strips, maybe like one chicken breast, um, or a bit over, but... If you're going to do this, definitely get some fry light. Like, I didn't think of it like this until someone pointed it out to me when I put it on one of the groups online, which I'll leave them linked down below for you because they're so good for, like, meal ideas and people boosting each other up and things like that. But instead of using the sunflower oil, I could have used the fry light and then could have had more chicken. But obviously, it's such a learning journey for everyone who's doing the weight loss. You're learning all the time, and it's really good that people give tips and tricks for you guys. And then on the Friday and the Saturday, I had the same meal because I really did enjoy it. So I basically had a fillet of salmon, which is 94 grams. And then I had, I just got a Tesco mixed veg bag and I had half of that. Um, and that was 241 calories and 5.3 grams of fat, um, grams of carbs, sorry. And then I had the same thing on Sunday as well, but I'd had it with salad this time and it was a little bit less carbs. So it was 267 calories and 3.8 grams of carbs. And I had it with um, some mushrooms, which were fried in salted butter as well, which I absolutely loved. It was 44 grams. And I put a bit of garlic in there with them too. So that's what I had for then. And then on Monday, I had the Nanda's chicken again. So I've decided that I'm changing my weigh date to a Tuesday now. I don't know why, it just makes it better that I weigh myself and then I do my video. But yeah, so that was my meals. And I've just really enjoyed it. I've thoroughly enjoyed doing the diet this week and I think obviously it shows. I do want to start incorporating some workouts into my routine now. I've been walking lots this week as well. I mean, I walked to the range. As you saw on a video that I put up last week, I walked to the range. I have been walking with the girls. I've walked either to nursery twice a week and back again when I've picked her up. So I've been making more of a conscious effort and I think it is so nice to see it paying off. But it just shows that on Exanti, you can lose the weight even though you're eating actual food, which is amazing. And it just, as I said, it's just so much better and it makes the diet not seem like such a struggle and such a diet and that you're on products all the time. And it's something in the day to look forward to at the end of the day. Like just now after this video, I'm gonna get changed obviously because it's an absolute scorcher today. And I am gonna go with the girls up to Tesco and I'm gonna grab some bits for dinner tonight so I'm gonna obviously grab Eva I think she wants like pizza for her dinner so that's fine it's gonna be a killer cooking that for her I mean I love it when Sean's at home because he cooks for them and I don't have to deal with that and don't have to like see like what they're eating but <laughs> when I'm on my own because Sean's on, a, on an all day night shift I'm just like oh my god but yeah that is one of my struggles is seeing her eat really nice food and I'm just like but it is easier because I'm eating natural food now as well. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it has given you some insights into some of the foods that you can have and you can prepare all sorts of meals. I see people eating like full English breakfast but they just substitute like the sausages for chicken sausages, there's heck ones, they have the turkey bacon instead, like there's so many more meals and it's something that I definitely want to explore. So if that is a video that you would like me to do is like what I eat in a week for dinners on Exante, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you have got any meal ideas for me to try, then please comment them down below with the recipes or just the ingredients, what you put in and how many grams and things like that. And just tell me how many calories and how many grams of carbs it's got in it. And update me on your weight losses guys i want to hear i want to hear so many of you are literally commenting on videos and doing so so well and it's so lovely to hear and i think that is what is spurring me on as well but i hope you have a wonderful week guys go out and enjoy this weather because it, it is superb and it's meant to be like i've just looked at my weather app and it's meant to snow in a few days so uh, what is the crack with that but yeah thank you for tuning in to another video and Please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye guys.